<laughs> All right, thanks for joining the channel. My name is Obsidian Core TV. Today we're going to be opening some Magic the Gathering Theros Beyond Death cards live on Twitch. Check the description below this YouTube video to catch it live and uh, wish me luck. Also, if you're watching this video, like and subscribe and then maybe follow on Twitch if you get time. It, it's super interesting. I also play Magic, so wish me luck. Good golly. This is this is dramatic. I've been waiting for this for a while. Knives are dangerous. Be careful, kids. Okay. So. Oh, the struggle is real. Alright. Get that all set up. So there we go. Theros beyond death. Ooh, and it's got a pull tab. That's cool. Nice. So these are going to be in the reverse order. So we're going to see token first. So that's exciting. Alright, so our light looks pretty good, so we'll keep going on that. So let's move the box a bit here. So token. And there's the new land cycle. So, or not land cycle, but you know what I mean. New basic land cards. The full art Nyx land. One in every pack. That's its own special pile. <laughs> and our rare is Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Alright, and I will go pretty slow for this first round because it is a new set. Not many people have got to see it. Gotta figure out how my stacks are gonna go here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go rare, uncommon, and then commons off to the side. No one's that concerned. Alright, Birth of Miltus. Yeah, Final Flare. Unknown Shores. For a couple of packs, we'll take our time going through the commons, so you can pause the video, take a look at them when you get time. If you really want to see a certain card. And we're really after the showcase cards, which will be in the uncommon slot. And uh, there are some showcase cards in the rare and you know, mythic slot, which would be kind of cool to find some of those. All right, human soldier. There's our nifty new land. And we got a foil Phoenix of Ash. That's exciting. So our first foil rare of this set. Looking pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. What are the chances of that? So we got a foil rare and the exact same rare. That's exciting. Put those in the rare pile. We got Europa, the twice favored. Mystic Repeal. Reverend Hoplite. Now we're into the commons. Alright, and another cool thing is all the enchantment creatures are going to have this nifty border here. A little different than your average card. Omens are a uh, cycle in this. One in each color. The best, I think, has got to be the, uh, the red omen. All right. And there's our token. Token zombie with an awesome mask. And mountain. And we got tra foil uncommon. Triumph of Anax. So they did raise the foil rate, so it's one in three packages should have a foil. All right, for a rare, we've got definitely not a rare. <laughs> All right, we'll stick the foils over here, and while we look at this, that is amazing. So we got Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. That is a mythic, and uh, it's one of the mythics I really wanted to hit. 
This thing, when it enters the battlefield, you sacrifice it unless it escaped. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you gain three life, draw a card, then you may play a land from your hand onto the battlefield. It escapes for uh, two green, two blue. You have to exile five cards from the graveyard, but then it stays on the field. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Essentially for four, it's amazing. That's a great card. Great. All right, let's actually make a mythic pile. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm kind of learning as I go here, you know. <laughs> All right, I got Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. Nyx Herald. Hydra's Growth. We have the Arena Trickster, starting our commons now. Cedar's Cunning. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, because I'll get it wrong. <laughs> Scout. Captivating Unicorn. Stern Dismissal. Fruit of Tizerus. Towering Wave Mystic. And Relentless, Relentless Pursuit. As far as like the priciest cards go, this was this is top notch. This is number two right now. The most expensive card, Heliod. So that's exciting. The exact prices are kind of a uh, um, it's a messy thing right now because the set did just come out, so they're all over the place as far as value goes. But when they stabilize more, uh, I'll be able to give you a better answer. <laughs> Oh, that looks amazing. That island looks so good. Alright, Mantle of the Wolf is a rare. Drag to the Underworld for an uncommon. Underworld Dreams. And our last uncommon is Commanding Presence. Oh, camera had a hard freeze there. <laughs> wow, even the uncom or the commons look really good, especially with that uh, enchantment enchantment border. Right. There's our swamp. That looks really good. Definitely gonna use the place out of those. Hey, we got Erebos, Bleak Hearted. It's our second mythic. It's uh, our first god card. He's definitely not the most expensive, other than his showcase frame is worth a lot. This is standard because he's an enchantment creature. It has that uh, nifty historic border as well. So that's exciting. And we got some uncommons. Thundering Chariot. Oh, awesome. So this is our first showcase. This is a Constellation uh, Demigod card. Annex Hardened in the Forge. Uh, his power is equal to your devotion to red. Whenever Annex or another non-token creature control dies, it gives you 1-1 that can't block. And if it's a 4 greater, it gives you 2 one ones that can't block, which is pretty darn awesome. So we're gonna put the showcase in the uh, in the rare pile because it feels rare to me. <laughs> All right, one with the stars. Now we're in the uh, commons. Wings of Hubris. Skophos War Leader. Setian Skirmisher. Sentinel's Eyes. Nixborn Seaguard with the cool border. And the flummoxed Cyclops. Daybreak Chimera. Omen of the Dead. Oh, we have a couple more. <laughs> I thought I was out there. Moss Viper. Memory Drain. Alright. So I think we'll start going a little faster through the commons because you know, people have been checking the spoilers and seeing all the new cards as they're revealed. Probably don't want to see that. So here's our planes. Looks good. And we got one of the new land cycle, or one of the temples. 
Um, enters the battlefield tapped, and it lets you scry. You tap it for either blue or black. Temple of Deceit. Alright, Rise to Glory. Acolyte of Affliction. And Farika's Spawn. Go a little faster through the uh, commons. Alright, here we go. And we got another swamp. And Setsian Champion. Scofos Maze Warden. It actually has an interaction with the uh, Labyrinth of Scofos, so that's kind of cool. Phalanx Tactics. Those of you watching, this is probably going to be a really long video. The rate I'm going. <laughs> Just so we can see all the new cards. Alright. And new land cycle. Or new land. And Perforos's Intervention. So there's an intervention for all the different colors, and they're all based on the gods. Alright, so we got Calife, Beloved of the Sea, Beloved of the Sea, in the Constellation Art. Looks nice, my camera's kind of freaking out with that dark color, let's move that out of the way. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not a fan. Alright, Triumph of Annex, not in foil. And Meyer Triton. They're pretty good on common. Spilling cards. <laughs> And our first of the forest in the Nyx Full Art Land. Alright, we have Eidolon of Obstruction for our rare. First strength, loyalty abilities of planewalkers, your opponent control cost one more to activate. So that's kind of new. Yeah, it, either one mana or is that one extra loyalty? It looks like a mana symbol, so that shuts down planeswalkers pretty well. Alright, the Horn Beetle. Owl Seed of Life's Bounty. And Medoma's Prophecy. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, this is this is so exciting to get to open these cards. I I mean Theros is an amazing set of cards. Oops. Alright. Next up we got more cards. <laughs> cool, there's a new gold token. Uh, add one mana. So it's kind of like a treasure token, but it's gold. As opposed to treasure. Alright, land. And dream trawler. That's a pretty cool Sphinx. It's got flying, lifelink, whenever you draw a card, it gets plus one, plus zero till the end of turn. And whenever it attacks, you gotta draw a card. 
so it kind of it's a self-propelling type thing. Uh, discard a card in Dream Traveler gains Hexproof until end of turn. You just gotta tap it. Alright, we're gonna be Entrancing Liar. Renata, a call to the hunt. Demigod. Cling to dust. And now back into the commons. That's the last one for that. Oh, that island gets me every time. It's looking real good. Okay, so we have Storm Herald for our rare. Uh, it has haste. It's a 3 2 for 3. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras would leave the battlefield, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. So that's pretty cool. So you can choose to get them all back in one turn and possibly not have the ammo you need for your next round and then they get exiled or you can slowly take them back each turn one or two depending on how many you have in your graveyard staggering insight impending doom the binding of titans so lets you exile some cards so you can get past that escape mechanic Alright, we're going to take a little cut real quick while I... But those of you watching the YouTube video noticed that flawless editing <laughs> of me cutting to break time. Alright, so we've got a human soldier. A beautiful land. And Nile okay, Nylea's? Yeah, Nylea's Interventions. This is the green intervention. It lets you search your library for up to X land cards, reveal them, put them in your hand. Or you can uh, deal twice X damage to any creature with flying. So she's got a bow. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, Caliphae, Beloved of the Sea. So this is a demigod. Um, so it's also an enchantment creature. It gives that cool border. Chain Web. Arachnir, Creature Spider, Soul Guide Lantern, that's going to be kind of nice, especially with the amount of escape, I mean, you get an exile creature when it comes into the field for one cost, it's a pretty good deal, and you can tap it to exile an entire opponent's graveyard, basically amazing, it's just, it's just simply good. Now, for all my other boxes, I definitely won't take this much time with the commons. Because it is, it is a, it is a slow go. <laughs> you know what they say, it's not worth doing if you don't take six hours. Okay, I'm sure that's a saying somewhere. That is a, just beautiful land. Alright, so we got Tynebit Call of the Dead. Uh, it's this is pretty cool. It's a saga. It's got three turns on it. Um, the best part of the saga is the end of it. You gain X life and scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. And this thing also generates zombies. So that's nice. Drum stalker, Man dream stalker, Manticore. Entrancing liar. And agonizing remorse.
I think this is the last pack. I'm going to go through the commons. We'll start going a little faster. If anyone wants to see a certain common, I can spend time to get it pulled up for them. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be opening this one box for two hours. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's definitely a bad thing. Alright, we got a swamp. And we got the one card I really want to play with. Nadir Kraken. Now, uh, whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one one counter on Nadir Kraken and create a one one blue tentacle creature token. And my camera is freezing like crazy, and I don't know why. <laughs> Nobody worry about that. So we got Annex, hardened in the forge. Dawn Evangel. Soul God Lantern Part Dose. And commons. Alright, we got our first goat token. And it's a cool goat. Beautiful forest. And Athemia. The Katat well wow. I just my words are not working on that. We're just gonna say it that is a cool looking card. It's got the enchantment on it. It's pretty great. <laughs> and we got Gary. Gary is a zombie. He's also a merchant. That's pretty exciting. Dream Shaper Shaman. Heliod's Punishment. Hold the world there, Atlas. Hold the world. Or Hercules or something. Some... Some god reference. Ooh, dramatic card for you. Okay. Forest. Hey, we got a foil. Elysian Kyriatid. Okay. You know what? It's a tree. Let's not try to... Let's not try to uh, figure out what that's called. It's a tree. Hey, we got a mythic. So we got a mythic Ox of Argonus. Uh, when Ox of Argonus enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Escape for two. Exile eight other cards from your graveyard. Holy crap. Uh, it escapes with a plus one one counter on it, so it's... It's a 5-drop for a 4-2. Pretty exciting. And uh, this tree also, its name is Groot. That's, that's what we're going to call that card. It, it was Groot. Alright. Acolyte of Affliction. Sea God Scorn. And now we're looking at commons, but that is a sweet looking Colossus. Holy moly. We're gonna go for the longest box opening on YouTube history. Planes. Hey, we got Meyer Triton. That was the one I was looking at earlier that I said I liked. Meyer Triton, the creature zombie merfolk in foil. And for our rare, we got Archon of Sun's Grace. All right, another Renata. Sea God Scorn. And the Binding of Titans. Oops. Okay. Mountain. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. Get out of town. Buy me a can of cola. We have hit the best card we could have asked for. Um, this is Elspeth's Sons and Nemesis. Maybe not the best card, but definitely an amazing extended art. Uh, Elspeth's Sons Nemesis. This is a jackpot card, I'd say. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. All right, we're gonna set that off to the side real quick and we're gonna sleeve it right up. And it was in the rare slot for you who are trying to figure out how these boxes work. Uh, so there, it did replace the rare card, whereas I think last set, it, it didn't? I'm not sure. It's gonna sleeve for that right off the bat because we're not messing around with extended art. That is... That is VEA Utiful, Elspeth. How's it going? Welcome to the team. Look at that. That's one sweet looking card. Alright, that's getting a special place right up here. Where Elspeth deserves to be at the top. Alright. 
now that I'm done being super excited about that, <laughs> let's keep going. Hard freeze, camera, what are you doing? Wolf, Willow Haven, minions return, A pile of commons that no one's concerned about, nobody needs to worry. Alright, here we go. Cranking away. Packs everywhere. Just pure chaos in here. Seder. We got a tree. Ooh, low strider. Now we have a use for that goat token we got earlier. Oh yeah. Low strider and the goat. Nice. Nice. Staggering insight for an uncommon. We got the captain, Siona of the Pileys. I'm guessing that's like a ship. Maybe. Stinging lionfish. Careful, it's pointy. I mean, can we beat getting an extended border planeswalker? It's one of the three planeswalkers in the set, and uh, yeah, extended art is a good thing. Alright, we got a mountain. And Underworld Breach. This is probably going to pop off, I would say, as far as price goes, because, I mean, it lets you make all of your cards to escape, and, uh, I mean, if you got enough mana to play this and pull off all those cards, it's a sick combo. It is pretty mana intensive, though. Alright, here we go. Graveyard of the Battlefield, Archon. Oh, that camera's having a moment. Nobody worry. And our commons. So yeah, there are only three planeswalkers, but there are god cards. Um, and the god cards don't come in extended, but they can come in the constellation. And constellation's the best case scenario. You know, if we can get a constellation god, that would be cool. Beautiful island. And Thassia's. Thassa's Intervention. Okay, Mischievous Chimera. That's kind of creepy looking. Sage of Mysteries. Dawn Evangel. I'll get that right eventually. We're about halfway through the box right now. Still chunking away here. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool looking nightmare card. That's coming with... So, since we got a Nightmare card, what are the chances? We also got an Ashiok in this pack. That would be... Swiggity sweet. Cool. <laughs> nope, but we got Brian Giant as an uncommon. Alright, Protein Thermitage. Yeah, Thermitage, Thermitage, Thermitage. You know what? We're just gonna... It's a, it's a rare. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hero of Nyxborn. Essentially has heroic, but it's not actually heroic. Kind of complicated. Alright, we got ourselves another demigod. Chosen from death. Shoal Kraken. It's a big Kraken right there. And our commons. Oh, having some issues. <laughs> Alright, we got a wall token. Planes. Shatter the sky. So basically, it lets you uh, draw a card um, for each player that has a power 4 or greater. And then it board wipes. So that's cool. Nothing wrong with a good board wipe. Blood Aspirant. Birth of Miletus. And the old stinging fish. We've got a swamp. And we've got a foil. Irrelevant revelers. And treacherous blessing. That's not bad for rare. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you can draw three cards for three. 
Whenever you cast a spell, you lose one life, but when it becomes targeted by a spell or ability, you get to sacrifice it. So, you know, not too hard to get off the field. You got an uncommon devourer of memory. Shimmerwing Chimera. Whirlwind Denial. Deny multiple people at one time. Whirlwind. I think that card's gonna be cool in Commander. You get a bunch of people popping off with spells and counters, and you get to basically just block everything. Unless they pay four for each thing. I don't know if it's each thing or. Let's take a look at that real quick. Is it four? Uh, less control pays four. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's complicated. I'm just not gonna mess with that. <laughs> we got an island. Let's see. Gallia of the Endless Dance. It's got haste. It's gonna buff all of your satyrs. Plus one one. They have haste. And whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random. If you do, drop two cards. Kind of reckless and terrifying, but it pays off. And Furious Rise. Elfspeth's Nightmare. Ooh, that's kind of a cool one for Uncommon. Um, Illyrios Enraptured. He makes mirrors of himself, and he can't attack as long as they're on the field. But if you flick him in and out of the game, you can make multiple mirrors, and they can do cool stuff. Like attack. <laughs> Alright. Planes. Heliod's intervention. We've hit like all of the interventions. That is impressive. Uh, we can choose one. Uh, destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments. Target player gains two times X life. So, cool. Uh, the bad thing about all these enchantment creatures are they're an easy target. So you got a lot of stuff killing enchantments. Fateful End. Ooh, wrong pile. Okay. Nissian Horn Beetle. Hero of the Winds. Ooh, that's kind of heroic. Alright. We got ourselves an uncommon foil and a dramatic pause. Hey, we got the labyrinth of Scophos. You get to add one mana with this, or one colorless. Uh, for four and a tap, you can remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. That I think is going to have some cool combos, and it does have a couple of cards that interact with it directly. So that's cool. Shimmerwing Chimera, Underworld Fires, Agonizing Remorse, and a whole crap ton of commons. Okay, what are the chances we pull a Heliod? Let's just let's just ask our luck to be crazy. Alright. Hey, Nyx Lotus. That's exciting. So this is one of the most valuable rares right now because it, it's pretty insane. It's four to get on the field, but when you tap it, choose a color, add any amount of mana of that color equal to your, um, you know, okay, whatever your devotion is, you can add that much mana <laughs> of one color. Yep, that took me a minute to figure that out. That's what it does. It's pretty exciting. Nissian Wanderer. Oh, there's Siona again, hanging out. We got ourselves a hateful Eidolon. Beware, it's angry. Commons. All right. We got a spider token. We have, but we're getting a lot more of the islands, I feel like, than anything else. And they look so good. Ah, oh, nice. All right. So we got ourselves a Foil Constellation card. So this is Anax Harden in the Forge. He's also in Foil, which is just... Yeah, it's quite pretty. It's quite pretty. Sweet beans. We're going to put that in the rare pile because it feels rare to me. Eat to Extinction is a rare. 
Exile, target creature, planeswalker. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. It's a way to start, you know, exiling things. Or not exiling, um, piling up your graveyard so you can escape things faster. Nothing wrong with that, except for I caused some minor chaos. Okay, totally fine. Dreamstalker, Manticore. Chainweb, Arachnir. Glimpse of Freedom. And nobody worries about those. I think I just reach up there and the packs just keep coming. It's amazing. Hey, we got a tentacle for our nattier. And your Kraken thing. Which Forest. It's green. Oh that was like a that was like a mind trick right there. So we've got a a foil mountain. So these are pretty cool. It's the amazing art, also in foil. <laughs> you couldn't ask for more. All right, let's stick the amazing art one in the rare pile because that just feels rare. All right, Tar Nika, our Crowan veteran. It's got vigilance. Whenever uh, it attacks, you can untap another target creature you control. Till end of turn, that creature has base power and toughness 4-4 and gains indestructible. <laughs> Alright, that's a that's a decent rare. Um, let's see what we got here. Escape velocity, reprint. Wait, is it? It has escape. That's kinda cool. Bonus. Sweet, sweet oblivion. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard, and you can escape it. Cool. Alright. Legona Band Storyteller. And a pile of commons. Alright. So we've got a satyr. We've got a swamp. We've got a foil. So Miner's Grasp. It's a common, but that foiling looks mighty cool. Look at those eyes. That is that is frightening. <laughs> at best. Alright, we got Allure of the Unknown. You get the top six cards of your library and opponent exiles a non-land card from among them. And you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast that exile without paying its mana cost. So it's a huge gamble, but you essentially get to draw five cards for five, and um, your opponent gets to play a card for free. What of your cards? <laughs> Which is extra terrifying. We got a band brawler, Arcana of Falling Skies, Stars, Words, Falling Stars, Favored of Iroas. All right, so we've got a wall token, a beautiful forest, and bronze hide lion. This is pretty cool. Uh, it gains indestructible for a green and a white until end of turn. Uh, when it dies, it comes back to the field as an enchantment uh, aura that you can attach to a creature. And um, for a green and a white, it becomes indestructible until end of turn. It's pretty cool. And the lion loses all of his other abilities, such as coming back to the battlefield. Pretty exciting. Alright, Heroes of the Revel. Banishing Light. Of the Mirror Shield. And we're down to our last couple of packs here, folks. Okay, what do we got here? We got a Seder. Surprise, surprise, we've got ourselves an amazing land. Okay, cool. So we've got Thrix, the Sudden Storm. He's got Flash, he's got Flying. For five mana, it's a 4-5 Flying Flash. Uh, spells you cast, a converted mana cost five or greater, cost one less to cast, and can't be countered. That seems really good. That seems really good. Okay, Destiny Spinner. Inevit Ooh, 
camera's freezing a lot. Sorry about that, everybody. Inevitable end. A glimpse of freedom. In the old commons. Alright, we're on the last three packs right now. Here we go. Here is pack number three to last. Planes. Ooh, we got a foil. Underworld Charger. And we got a Rasta. The Endless Web. It's got Reach. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1 2 green spider creature token with Reach. That is going to shut down many a deck. <laughs> All right, impending doom, underworld fires, the phalanx tactics. All right, we got commons. Keeping on, got two packs left. Oops, it's getting some, getting kind of rough. <laughs> All right, human soldier. Beautiful Mountain, and Shadow Spear. That's a rare I really want to get. Uh, Cryptic Creature gets plus one, plus one, has Trample and Life Link, which seems insane for one, right? With an Equip 2. Even better, for one, permanence your opponent control, lose Hexproof, and Indestructible until end of turn. This thing can kill gods, which is awesome. And the coolest part is it doesn't actually have to be attached to anything for it to activate. So... Get yourself a Shadow Spear today, ladies and gents. Oh, um, we got ourselves a Petitioner. Careless Celebrant. Enemy of Enlightenment. And a pile of commons. We're on the last pack, ladies and gentlemen. I'd just like to say thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. And wish me luck on this last pack to crack. We've got... Planes. Game over. Alright, we got the best rare in the set currently. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Land you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. So, that's great. That seems seems fair. Clothos Design. Feel the Ruin the Reprint. Thrin Nobody Singer. No, that's just... That feels like it's misspelled. <laughs> and then we've got our regular old commons. So thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, I'll probably be opening some more boxes in the near future. Um, as in, in a couple minutes. But those of you watching this on YouTube, check out my other videos. And join Twitch. Watch this live. And stuff. And beautiful cards and all that. And look at, we even got an Elspeth. It's borderless. I mean, extended. I mean, something. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.